So walk us through how it all began and how you got involved. Well, it's a, a pretty new charity right now. We're really at the beginning stages of Techik, and this was really an initiative among, I would say, maybe five to ten different people, many of which have spent a lot of time in the north. So uh, we're talking about one particular town called Pond Inlet, which is in Nunavut, and um, town of about 1,500 people. I had a great opportunity to visit this town um, about uh, two years ago, and uh, it really changed me as a person, just seeing how resilient and how tough everybody is up there and, and just what wonderful people it is and what a beautiful part of our country. The one thing, though, about this area is it's very costly to get supplies to the north, as we know. So as a woman, and speaking with many other women, one of uh, which I'd like to mention, who's a Winnipeg uh, uh, resident, Margaret Gert Tuli, uh, she was an archaeologist that visited um, for many years, almost 30 years, with Parks Canada up in the north. And she and I were talking about, you know, this initiative to bring period products or menstrual supplies, whatever you want to talk about, however you want to refer to them, up to the north, because we're talking about very expensive. Um, you know, pads and tampons and all these things that we're all so hush-hush about and feel so uncomfortable talking about, but they're a necessity. I need them, you need them, we all need them, they need them. So basically we're raising money, uh, we're working with a charity that's called Seltzer Chan, which is a registered charity in Pond Inlet. They're working with the local food bank, so any money that we raise uh, will be sent to the food bank. They will purchase these products and distribute them to many women of many ages uh, in Pond Inlet. And we've already raised about $3,500. We would love for people to just even $5, $10, it all adds up. And like I said, it's something that, you know, we don't even think about because we just head down to the local drugstore and pick up these supplies as women. But up there, it's a very different story. You've got lots of people living together in one residence, and it's hard to afford these products, Gabby. Yeah, Jacqueline, uh, we have the website popping up on the screen throughout this interview, and I strongly encourage folks to go online and check it out because you have this video speaking with a woman who lives in that community, and she talks about how you might go to the store and spend up to $30 for a box of tampons or pads, which is pretty hard to fathom. I mean, for, for women who already live in a community where other essentials, food, etc., cetera, are, are more expensive, what does this mean to them? And what are you hearing from them now that you've gotten this charity started? Sure. Well, speaking to local uh, women in the area, including Shelly, who you're referring to, Shelly Elvram, who's a huge help with this charity up in the north and is actually living in Pond Inlet, you know, a lot of people will just go without and they won't go to school, some of these young women, because it's that time of the month. And that's horrible. That's not what we want. And so a lot of people just choose, you know, not to purchase these products because it's just it's so expensive. I mean, just to put things into perspective, we were doing a hunting trip when I was there and I went to pick up a thing of paper plates to take out on the ice to do our hunting trip. It was twenty seven dollars for paper plates. I mean, so how can we even think about this for people in the South? We can't even fathom this. I just want to mention, thank you for putting that website up there, www.techiquewomen.com. Uh, there's three different ways that people can donate by check, and that can be sent to Seltzer Chand. All of this is on the website. And if you mark Techik, it'll get directly to uh, the women in need. You can also do an e-transfer if you're more of a GoFundMe page person. That is available too on the website. And uh, we're also on Twitter, Gabby, which is at Techique Women. Um, so this is a really important initiative to me. Um, I work for the Weather Network. I happen to be up there on a work trip, and it really just changed me visiting this part of our country. It's such a beautiful part, and nobody should have to think or stress about something that we just need as women.